Hey guys, Fix It John here. I'm going to make a quick little, little video. Uh, last week I did a, a transmission flush and I noticed that the uh, transmission line was hitting up against the oil pan. So I took this uh, rubber hose. This is the same rubber hose uh, that I used to uh, flush that transmission. I'm going to wrap it around that uh, transmission line and then zip tie it to make sure uh, it doesn't come off. All right, guys, here's the, uh, the top line. Uh, that I that I flushed the transmission fluid out of last week. Here's the bottom line. Well, it's this top line here. It's just just bouncing right there against the oil pan. And I, and as I look closer, that bottom line is uh, it's able to bounce against it too a little bit. But uh, I did see a spot where it was hitting. There is a spot here, and it lays right behind my finger. This top one. I saw it when I had the line off, when I was doing the uh, transmission flush. Uh, if I can f uh, find it in the other editing, I'll put it in this video where uh, it was rubbing. But uh, to uh, keep from getting a, oil, a hole in my oil pan or my transmission line, which uh, my transmission lines will probably need to be changed out in the next year or so because they are leaking up from I'm gonna I'm gonna mitigate this problem by putting a rubber hose here and I'm gonna put one right here just for the sake of uh, being safe but uh, yeah there is a wear mark on the pan and on the line right right there where my finger is so you guys just be aware of that uh, transmission leak or uh, oil pan leak all right guys here's the angle from the front passenger side of the oil pan this is uh, going to the uh, radiator and coming from the oil cooler, transmission oil cooler, and that's going back to the transmission. So it's this top line right here that is really super close and is actually rubbing. This is the top line and it's the closest. So, and this is just a thin little rubber hose here, guys, but if it keeps it off here from vibrating, it will have done its job. It's so close you don't even you don't want anything thick on here. It'll keep it from vibrating back and forth and putting a hole in it. There we go. It should do it. Take me a zip tie and throw around it. That's how close it is. Can't get anything behind it. Camera's in the way here, guys. I'm just going by feel. Okay, I can see it now. So that's all I'm doing is just putting a zip tie on it and hoping it doesn't spin around and hit bare metal again. A little bit easier than putting a whole new line on it. There we go. And I'll cut the excess off here <laughs> and put another zip tie towards the back. Nothing fancy, just temporary. I think well, uh, they do sell hoses uh, that uh, they say that uh, uh, these are known to leak. But uh, I'll tell you, at 200 and what do I got? 14,000 on here, 211, something like that. And it's uh, 14 years old. I'm not too worried about putting those specialized hoses on it, high pressure hoses. So uh, they're all rubber hoses, uh, braided rubber hoses. But uh, yeah, I've got my money's worth out of these hoses, so I'm not too worried about it. Now we'll do the uh, other line here. Same thing, got a split hose. This one's not near as close as the other one. It should slide right on. 
Boom, see, just like that. Just, I don't want to be on the road somewhere. In the middle of the highway, my transmission line blow out and I uh, lose all my fluid. There they are, guys. There's the rubber hoses. That's what they look like right up against the oil pan. That'll keep it from uh, rubbing a hole in that oil pan or that transmission line. So remember, guys, this fix it, John. If this uh, transmission cooler line uh, fix uh, helped you guys in any way, like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. If it didn't help you, if it didn't do anything for you, hit that thumbs down twice. And uh, thanks for watching.